Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and this is Foundation by Noise Reap. So Foundation is Noise Reap's kick drum or bass drum, whatever you prefer, uh, module. And on the one hand, you might say, well, it's a kick drum, so what's, what's that to it? Well, it's got a great recognizable analog quality to this, even though this is not a completely analog module. There are some digital components in there. So for instance, the well, two of the three envelopes in this module are, well, indeed controlled digitally. So it has a bit of that hybrid approach, that, that best of both worlds kind of thing going for it. And well, before I, I have to say something about the, the overall aesthetic of this, this great module, it just looks great. And I can't say that that's all there is to it, but it, it, it truly adds to the, well, the enjoyability of working with this device. So I've spent a great number of hours just with this module, just exploring sounds, exploring bass drums, and it's just a, a really playable module there as well. But uh, don't just take my word for it, let me show you. So I would say, um, here we go. So there we have the foundation by Noise Reap. This is actually the first in three modules I'm gonna be demoing and reviewing from Noise Reap. So the second is the anomaly, and the third is the three times VCA. Well, you don't need to uh, have a doctorate to understand what kind of a module that is. Uh, but the foundation is a bass drum module, an analog bass drum module that, well, can also be used as a, um, well, a sine oscillator, uh, as a noise source, as an envelope, uh, but of course, most importantly, the actual drum itself. So let's do a quick overview of the UI. So the, um, the first thing here is of course the trigger input and it's labeled as strike. Then you've got your ring, which is essentially a decay. Um, so how long the actual sound will last. So how long it will ring out, so to say. And you've got CV control over that length there too. Then you've got your bend and bend is essentially how tight the skin is on your drum. So you can go from really nice and, and, and sharp and snappy to a bit loose and a bit more, well, more character. And I'll let you hear that later on. Then you've got your CV uh, input, the one volt per octave in for the tune. And you also have the nudge. And the nudge is essentially, if you pass in a trigger or a, or a high gate to that, it'll push the, well, the actual sound a few notes notes higher, but I'll let you listen to what that means and how it uh, how it sounds. Uh, then you've got your texture, which is essentially well the amount of noise you are introducing into your uh, drum sound, and you've got your damping, which is essentially um, well I think it's a filter, but it's uh, how well how much you want to dampen it. Yeah, it's filtering I think. But let's uh, let's dive right in, shall we? So. Um, what I've got here is I've got my trusty cable that's going out to my output. So I'm not doing any sort of additional effects there. This is just as well, as clean as you can get it. So I've got the uh, trigger coming in from uh, Pam's new workout. There you go. So let's turn the ring all the way down. trying to make it as clean as can be. So ring. And let's do the bend now.
let's introduce some noise. And now we can actually dampen it. So that's essentially all there is to it, to the actual, well, to the actual sound. But the interesting thing is, of course, you can also use this as a, well, as a sign generator. So if I just disconnect this for now and connect this one straight there, you've got a very nice deep sign generator. There you go. Let's uh, give it some voltage that it can use. Let me just connect Hermits and let's give it a sequence. also do is grab this one so now you do hear the actual strike happening there too and then of course because you also have an envelope being generated there so let's grab the envelope and I'm just going to use the three times VCA. So this is the CV. Let's turn that up a bit. Let's connect this straight to the three times VCA. And let's just do it like this. Essentially, we're creating the the bass drum again by using the envelope and the sign generator. Uh, then, if you mix in some some white noise, you essentially get the texture back. So this is one way to do that. But the other thing is, of course, you can just you straight use the the, the drum output there because the envelope that you've got here is, of course, the exact same one that we've got on the drum one. But it is actually absolutely great that you've got that envelope out because you can then use that for other purposes and you can use them at the same time you can use them however you want so let's have a look at the nudge and see what that does let me just disconnect this real quickly. So I'm going to go back to the to the sign. Let's disconnect the strike. And disconnect this one. So we then you already hear the nudge. What's happening there? So there is some movement there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a bit of a longer gate so you can actually see what's happening. Here we go. So this is now on, it's being nudged, and now it's no longer nudged. So you see that shift from a, uh, a D sharp to a D. So there's a semitone of difference there.
Nice, right? So you can use this to make things more dynamic, of course. So you can use this and then grab the, the drum here. And let's grab the, well, which one are we gonna be using? Let's grab another one. So grab this one as a trigger. Now we've got a dynamic ring there. And you hear that variation happening there. Let's get around, grab another one. So let's build a, uh, a quick patch with this, shall we? So I'm just gonna throw this into the vivisect, which I'm gonna be reviewing later on as well. Grab a, an envelope from a taxier. Patch this so we get some more effects going.
So I think that this uh, is a great, well, <laughs> demonstration of what the foundation is capable of. I think that it's a great module. I love it. Um, I can't compare it to any other um, analog based drum kits that I've got. I can only compare it to the, um, well, to the to the digital ones that I've got. So like the, the, the Proc and well, this is just such a great thing. I found myself tinkering with this hours on end. So I think that uh, it truly earns its place in my, uh, in my rack. Uh, but let's uh, wrap this all up. Let's go back to the studio and we'll uh, see each other there. Cheers. So as said, I truly love the foundation by Noise Reap and its versatility is one thing, but the actual sound that's capable of producing just blew me away. Uh, talking a bit more about those features, uh, one of the things I totally forgot to, um, to stress during the actual demo, and I, I was planning to do this, is actually using the, the envelope as a well, an automatic side chaining capability. So what, what you then do is you grab the, out, the, the envelope from here and you then invert that and use that on anything else that you want to uh, well, side chain to your, um, to your bass drum. Um, there is a great video on the Noise Reap uh, website that shows how, to, how this is done, uh, but I might incorporate it into one of my uh, future videos as well. Um, other than that, I do have to thank Noise Reap for making this uh, video possible, of course. Uh, thanks so much, Cody. And, well, I think that uh, it goes without saying, I can strongly recommend this module to everyone, uh, independent of what kind of style you're playing, because, well, it's extremely versatile. It can do any sort of bass drum that you might want. Its versatility, as mentioned, is just great. And, well, I think that the, the sound is unbeatable. So I would say, well, grab one of these ASAP. But for now, I would say, please, everyone, stay safe, stay healthy. And I hope to see you for my next video. Cheers.